Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, bluehandarts.com. Now we're going to do a joint hand calligraphy and painting together with my mother-in-law, Professor Chen. As you can see, she is quite uh, uh, limited by mobility. Only arm or leg she can move is uh, her right hand. But she can still write calligraphy. And she is very eager to try before I even get ready for her. Um, so the poem I'm going to ask her to write is uh, a town famous uh, poem, but with an uh, anonymous uh, um, poet named, uh, with a pen name, uh, Ancient Recruits, Ancient Hermit, if you will. Okay, now it's my turn. Um, as you can, yes, you just saw um, my mother-in-law, uh, Professor Chen, just did the, the poem. Uh, in her um, mood, this is very uh, suitable. Uh, the poem reads, by chance, or somehow, I came to, to be under this pine tree. Um, and I'm going to do a pine tree, just illustrate uh, the poem. By chance, um, this is an answer a re in reply to a question: Why um, you come to the mountain to be a hermit? How how did you come to the mountain to live as a hermit? So this is the first question the poet answers: Oh, like somehow by chance uh, come to under the pine tree. Gaozen Shito Mian means uh, sleep in comfort um, using uh, on, on stone border, on, on stone as a pillow, stone pillow, sleep uh, in comfort. 
very um, imagery. So we're going to do. We uh, let me finish this uh, poem before we uh, do the figures. So pine tree and the border or stone pillow. And uh, the next question is, how long have you been here? Have you lived in the mountains? The poem answers the question by saying, there's no calendar in the mountain. Winter ends, nobody knows the year. There's no calendar in the mountain. So nobody knows the year as the winter passes. That's the, uh, the whole poem. So this, is a, it, this poem is entitled The uh, Reply to uh, Guests, or Darin. Let me just write uh, the, the title of the poem. By uh, ancient recruits, that's the author of the author of the poet. I mean the the poem, the poet named by pen name uh, actually Tai Shang Yin Zhe. Tai Shang Yin Zhe. Ancient uh, recruits. Nobody knows his name even today. So he lived in the Tang Dynasty in Zhongnan Mountain in North uh, West China. You can see I used the same brush that was used uh, uh, by Professor Chen for calligraphy and just use the rest of the ink. So we use the same tools in painting and calligraphy in Chinese uh, art of uh, uh, writing and uh, painting. So the calligraphy has uh, uh, strongly influenced not only the, uh, the content, the, uh, also the, the form of the Chinese painting. By scholars, the uh, calligraphy, poem, and the uh, uh, painting uh, of the the same uh, origin. It's all painting from heart. That is his, uh, his bed, uh, pillow, the stone. So I'm going uh, I'm going to paint uh, both the guest and the poet in this painting. I could also paint uh, the the poems uh, lying on the stone, but uh, uh, now he's uh, answering the questions from. Uh, A visitor. A dark place with beer. And a visitor. They greet each other. Ancient archives. Just very suggestively. Okay, um, you can you can do some uh, light ink wash.
cause and turn. Sign also on this side. So let's put it a year anyhow, even though we don't know the year from the uh, when the poem was written. Year of 2012. And uh, by the way, my mother-in-law has no longer count days of uh, year. So that's very sad, but uh, very uh, natural for her to uh, still be able to write this poem particularly. She can still recite many poems, although she cannot remember the days and uh, year. So that's, I hope, not the last joint hand work with her. Um, I'm going to put my stamps show you the complete work. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.